Welcome to Autopilot and the long-awaited implementation and overview of Waypoint Mode. Waypoint Mode builds on Zipline by adding multiple points which define a path that the aircraft can travel along. The basic concept of Waypoints is relatively easy to understand. There are other products that will let you create a path and follow it. However, Autopilot's Waypoint Mode goes further on almost all levels. Those that have used Autopilot's Focus, Zipline, Orbit, and Follow modes and seen how well they work together will quickly see how Waypoint Mode fits perfectly within to that suite of capabilities. Let me provide a quick overall safety warning. Autopilot is a tool, a powerful one. Please use it safely and wisely and within the current guidelines and rules. Using Waypoint Mode to fly where you shouldn't may result in loss of your aircraft, injury, or damaging the reputation of the millions of UAV users out there using their quadcopters in a safe manner. The goal of these Waypoint videos, as is the rest of the Autopilot videos, will be to demonstrate what makes Autopilot's implementation unique and then show you how to take advantage of these capabilities, starting from a basic approach and expanding to an increasingly sophisticated approach. We will even provide you example flight plans so you can pull up these missions that I discuss on your own tablet or phone. This video will focus on the benefits and the key steps that you need to go through when creating a mission. The second video will actually take you through the how-to's and get you actually out there flying. Let's start with a quick summary of why Autopilot's Waypoint implementation is the most flexible and complete solution out there. I'll then walk you through the Waypoint UI and show you how you can create your own missions flexibly. I'll break down these benefits based upon an overall typical workflow of creating a Waypoint mission. Autopilot offers multiple input methods to create your waypoints and a powerful map that is built on top of Google Maps to provide an accurate 3D view of your map. The various icons can be easily turned off or on to help you easily focus and handle your workflow. All waypoint software solutions allow you to create your waypoints to follow. Autopilot provides multiple ways based upon the type of mission you're looking to create. As I will show you, you can quickly add a waypoint by pressing on the screen, by dragging from one waypoint to the next, or even drawing a line and having Autopilot automatically create the necessary waypoints to follow your path. You can fly the mission manually and set the waypoints and even the camera direction based upon the aircraft and gimbal position. Most recently, and of particular use by search and rescue users and those who want to plan their missions on the PC, we've now added full mission support of KMZ and KML files that can be imported into Autopilot. Once the path has been created, there's a great deal of flexibility on how you can edit your path. You can easily add to the beginning or end of the path. You can even split a segment to create new paths from the middle of an existing path. While you can fly straight from waypoint to waypoint, often you want to create smooth paths with true Bezier curves that are more natural for the aircraft to fly and produce more stable and attractive video. You can also transform the entire path and make it larger, smaller, or even rotate it. If that wasn't enough, you can set a dynamic reference point that the waypoint mission will be based upon. This allows for the mission to be easily moved from one location to another, for example for pattern-based missions or for search and rescue, even to follow a certain path while following a moving object. There are multiple focus strategies also available, giving you the power to define exactly when and where the camera points along the path. If you've used other modes within Autopilot, you're probably familiar with focus points or POIs. These allowed you to define what the camera was focused on, tilting or yawing the gimbal or quadcopter to maintain focus. With the waypoint mode, we allow you to create multiple focus trigger points made up of focus trigger path points and or focus trigger subject points, which are tied to a single point along the path and define unique path dependent focus strategy. By default, the focus strategy for each trigger will take effect immediately when the aircraft reaches the trigger point during flight. Alternatively, you can use interpolation between the focus triggers that use the same strategy. This lengthens the transition duration to the time it takes the aircraft to fly the path between the two trigger points. Think of this like setting keyframes that the camera will transition between. More on this soon. To help you with the power of waypoints and focus triggers, we provide a path inspector which allows you to inspect points along the path 
and determine not only the motion of the aircraft, things like altitude, speed, direction, etc., but where the camera is looking at and what focus strategy is being used at that point. There is also a mission preview option that allows you to preview the mission in real time before you fly it to ensure that it is doing exactly what you want to do. There are a variety of additional benefits, with more being added all the time. These include, while most Waypoint software programs simply play the mission once and stop, Autopilot allows a variety of mission types. Initially, there is Patrol, which can be set to go back and forth between the start and the end point, or continuously loop on closed paths. Mark mission type, which lets you set the mission to dynamically proceed to a specific point on the path, and for those that want to control the quad throughout the mission, you can use joystick mission mode and push forward or back to move through the path at your own speed, where the maximum speed is relative to the speed that has been specified for that part of the path. Regardless of the mission type you use, you can modify the flight path in real time as the mission goes underway. There are also options to allow you to save or share your mission, as well as to capture your flight data via the Healthy Drones integration. Finally, the development and support of Autopilot is unmatched. New features and capabilities are coming regularly to support the growing number of avid users. Many people have asked us how Autopilot can do what it does, especially relative to the other offerings out there. And the answer is, we use our own flight controller. This affords us many benefits that simply aren't possible otherwise, but there are certain limitations as well. The primary limitation is that if the drone loses connection with the transmitter, it will automatically return to home. As this is not a normal DJI SDK waypoint mission, which stores the mission and then continues even if the connection is lost. Lost connection mission continuation, or LCMC, can be a useful feature for certain use cases in very controlled scenarios, but this is not what Autopilot's waypoint mode is optimized for. We may create additional modes in the future that offer LCMC, but again, this is not the purpose of waypoint mode today. Instead, the primary goal of waypoint mode is to script cinematic aerial sequences for the purposes of video production. To that end, Autopilot offers things that are competition, which presumably use the SDK implementation from DJI, simply cannot offer, and this is why people continue to choose our product, particularly when it comes to video production. Before I get to the how-to of creating a Waypoint mission in Autopilot, I want to take you through the key steps that you're going to want to go through any time that you create a mission. The more sophisticated missions take advantage of the more advanced features within the UI, but the steps are still basically the same. Your first step is to plan your mission. Ideally, you should start to do this before you even turn the software on. Where do you want to go? What altitude are the waypoints going to be? What are you planning on filming? The more you've thought about this, particularly with sophisticated missions, the easier it will be to create. Second, you're going to want to create your waypoints. Waypoints are the points that define where the quadcopter is going and drive the path. Third, you're going to want to create your path. In autopilot, you have the flexibility to not only fly straight from point to point, but use Bezier curves to fly curved, definable paths between points. You can also define how the quadcopter will fly as it moves from waypoint to the next. Fourth, you're going to create focus triggers and strategies. At the simplest level, you can set for autopilot to simply point the camera forward. However, to create truly impressive cinematic effects, you will want to create focus trigger subject points and strategies that define where the camera should be focused when the aircraft is flying. Fifth, you're going to want to edit the focus timing. You're going to want to decide when the quad will shift focus from one focus trigger subject point to the next or from one strategy to the next. This involves moving the focus trigger path point that's on the path itself. You can also define if you want the transition to be fast or interpolated between the two focus trigger path points. You can even have different focus strategies at different points of your mission. Sixth, you're going to want to review your mission. Before you fly, it's a great idea to preview the mission and ensure that it's going to do exactly what you want it to do. Seventh, fly the mission. After you've gone into the flight dashboard and engaged the aircraft, the aircraft will take off and go. 
At the start of the mission, the aircraft will fly to the first waypoint at the altitude configured for that waypoint. While it flies, Autopilot gives you the flexibility, if you want, to modify the flight, camera speed, etc. as the mission is underway. And finally, you're going to want to review, save, or even share your results. In addition to reviewing the video or the images that you've captured, you can also save the entire mission in case you want to run it at another time or even share it with a friend. We also have ways of sharing the mission through our built-in integration with tools like Healthy Drones. At this point, I recommend watching the second Waypoints video, which will walk you through how to actually create, fly, and review your mission.